Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm looking all different. I'm gonna be today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial with the carroty um matte palette, mainly using the carroty matte palette with some hints of colour pop also. A lot of these products I haven't used before, um, so I haven't used, I've used the BH Cosmetics Black Light, um, Black Spotlight um, Highlighting Palette, um, and I've used uh, Super Sharp Colourpop um, Eyeshadow for the first time. So I'm going to be mainly using the Carity Matte Palette. Um, I had them ages ago, I ordered them when they were on sale. They were £12 and now £72 on Amazon. Yeah, I know, really expensive. Um, so I'm going to be doing some, including some swatches. Um, so the swatches will be first and then the tutorial. Um, hope you enjoy the swatches. So those were the swatches, as you can see they're really pigmented, um, they've got different, some of them have different textures um, and the colours um, are quite vibrant. If you want to up the pigmentation, just use some a mixing medium, whether it be water, I use um, pharmaceutical grade glycerin and water, or you can use Max Fix Plus, or you can use whatever setting spray that you'd like to use. Parity is a animal cruelty free brand they are equivalent to mac so um they do have like mac dupes so i will put um all the information in the description bar below they have a chart with all the mac colors and all their colors which they are comparable to if you'd like to see how I've got this look, um, please stay tuned. So I'm going to put a base on, you can use any base, I'm using um, Cool Tan and in the Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I like to blend it over the brow. I've already primed and um, done my base already. Next in with the Laura Mercier our CMA powder. Use any setting powder you want. I'm using my Morphe brush for my set. Next in with the Jumbo NYX pencil in Black Bean. Use it to create that halo shape. Um, I'm using this as a base so that I get a high payoff from the powders I'm going to use. They're supposed to be really pigmented, the carrot D. I've used them before, but not um I've not used the, the black ones before. Um black ones called Disturbia. So then you just get a flat brush. I've got my Morphe flat brush. I'm gonna blend that in. Now I'm going just above my crease, bringing it around the crease. Now I want a round shape, I'm not going for um, an angled cat eye shape. Don't worry about the edges and how high it's coming up because you're going to blend that out later. Then in with the colour Disturbia. To black, quite deep for that. And almost what you're doing is like you're setting it, you're setting the actual base. It's almost like you're setting your concealer, but you're using the powder to do it instead. Thank you. 
it seems really messy when you first do it but don't worry about it it will all come together I promise then we're with NSFW which is a bright true red and you're just gonna I've got just my one of my blending brushes and um, it's got no name on it you just take up quite a bit of product and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pack it on so it's like a pressing motion with the brush you can use your fingers if you want but I find this technique it, it really works it really gets a lot of um you get a lot of pigmentation onto the eye It looks quite faded at the moment, but what you're going to do is you're just going to keep packing it on. Then you're going to use the Colour Pop in Super Shock Baby Talk. So you're just going to use your finger. And it looks a bit pinky when you first put it on. But when you layer it with the other one, that will, that will counteract it. And straight on top of that, you're going to go in with the Super Shark falling around colour pop. Just going to use your finger to tap on that as well. in with another Morphe slim brush just a little flat brush just to get under or you can use a cotton bud whichever you prefer now to get the brightness I'm going to use my homemade mixing medium it's just water and um, uh, pharmaceutical grade glycerin I'm just going to dip my brush into the solution or you can wet the brush you can use max fix plus whichever fixing agent you want to use i just want to get um a really strong payoff from the super shock right underneath the eye i'm just dipping it into the cotton bud just intensifies the um, pigment not that you need it intensified anymore but this is a party festival avant-garde look I'll show you how to turn it into avant-garde later on back to the clarity palette so you're just going to start to blend out the edges now using a Morphe flat brush gonna go in with the color Luxuria Mix with Whisper. And with this, blend out your edges as well. So I've gone back in with the Disturbia, the black um, eyeshadow just to go over it and make sure that it's all blended and it's all blending seamlessly. Get the depth, there's a little bit of depth in the eye. So to get the depth, you need to use um, a brown and the brown that I'm using is Safe Word and Tentrix. I'm gonna go in with Safe Word first. And that's just going right and that's just going right over the top of the halo and then with the darker brown Tentress there's not much fallout there's a bit of kickback when you use the palette but not much fallout See, it forms like a ready, rustic look 
on top. I'm backing with Disturbia. Then back in with Whisper. Then for the edges, we're going to use the Caress, which is white. Now you're going to just use this on the outer corner, on the top part of your brow bone. That's going to give the illusion of like an ombre kind of look. Then any, if any of your products come off, you go back in with the colour part using your finger. Then go back in with your brush if you need to. I wanted to add more intensity, so I just went back in with the Super Shock Colour Pop. Then to now to do the detail work, back in with your NYX um, black bean pencil and go into the waterline. Then in with the Stargazer um, liquid liner, it's a UV one, it comes up really strong on camera. It looks orange when you first put it on, but don't worry about it, it's not. Now what I'm doing is I'm not going right, I'm not doing a cat eye like I said, so I'm trying to keep that rounded look. And then you're going to go on top of it with, um, it's called Paint Blow Glitter. See how vibrant that looks, it almost looks orange, but it's not orange, it's red. Then you can just let that dry for a little bit. And while that's drying, you can go in with your second lot of glitter. Now I'm using Glam Crystals from Collection, it used to be called Collection 2000, but it's now just called Collection. So I'm just going to use this as a highlight for the in corner of my eye. Now it's got a lot of colours in it, so it's really iridescent. Now in with the brown, which I think is temptress, right over it again. Blend the corners and it gives it like a reddish hue. Because there's a lot going on on the actual eye, I don't want to use a highlight, a nice a shimmer because when the rest of the look comes together it's going to be very vibrant. Then in with your false lashes, now you can add really big lashes if you want or you can do really small ones. I'm opting to do quite fine ones because I want the detail of this work to be shown through. Lashes I'm using are from AliExpress. Now they're very natural looking lashes, they're not like in your face. I think they're, they're quite, I think they're fabric. So you just put those ones on. On with your lashes. Now 
make sure you bring your lashes as close to your eye line as possible. You can use tweezers or those little tools you can buy. This is an eyelash curler tool I use. you're trying to do is get them close as possible because you're not using a black on it I, because you're not using a black liquid eyeliner your aim is to get it as close to the lash line as possible because then you can see the liquid eyeliner you've just been working on and you can use any colour you can see they're very slight they're not big lashes because when you have the longer lashes they're gonna block the halo then onto the face now it's time to clean up any bits of makeup that's gone too far or you think it's too far down now's the time to do it you can use baby wipe you know whatever you want to use just be careful not to take too much off then onto foundation I'm using an Old Faithful, I'm using Revlon Photo Ready in Cappuccino and uh, Caramel, I have to mix them. I'm using two pumps of the Cappuccino and one pump of the Caramel. Now when it's winter, I do it in reverse. I suppose I could mix them, but what would happen, I'd lose that ability to just mix whatever I wanted to mix. So, because obviously in the summer I'm, a, I'm darker than I am in the winter. And what I like to do is, so that I'm not wasting product and it's not going in onto my brush or my beauty blend, it's not being totally absorbed, I like to just dab it onto the face. And then what's left, I'm going to use my MAC brush, my MAC foundation brush, and just stipple that on. Make sure you get around the neckline. Then in on with my damp beauty blender. Then on to highlight. Normally I use fawn, but today because my eyes are so dark, I'm going to go with Cool Tan, the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now I'm not going to over highlight, I'm not going to do too much. Now you're just going to clean up any edges as well, any rough edges that I want to coat with the eye makeup. I'm just going to gently highlight on the nose. Yeah, I'm not adding more product. All I'm doing is just moving it with the brush so just to, so that you can see i'm going to try and do it front on so i'm just going to use the mirror and gently blend it in. and then for that really airbrush look you're going with your beauty blender I'm going to use my small pink beauty blender get these anywhere now make sure that it's damp it's just really good for point work so yeah that's just giving that just a nice not too bright not overly done then I'm going to set it with a mix of my um, 
Makeup Revolution banana powder and uh, a top my top Ben Ali topaz. Like I said, I'm not going for a, a really bright under eye look. And then in with my Morphe brush. And then I'm going to pat that in. Make sure there's no crease here. And in with the same mix where I've highlighted. Now I'm going to go in with a um, powder contour. I like the powder contour because it's not as harsh but each to their own preference. So I'm just going to use my Morphe angled brush and I'm using the Ben Eye chestnut. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter and I like to start off with the ready chestnut colour first because it's not too overpowering and you can always build it. It's good to use the angled brush because you just get right into the hollows of your cheeks. And you see it's very, very subtle, very subtle contour. I'm not trying to make my nose look slimmer, I'm just defining it, bringing back shape. I'm just using uh, my Morphe flat brush, this is from the 18 piece sable set and um, I'll leave a link to this review um, here. And then what I like to do is go over it with the Ben Eye Ebony. Now you don't have to use Ben Eye. Um, it's just that they're really good, um, affordable, translucent powders. You can either get them online, send them directly to your home from the States, or there are websites that do them, then you can buy them from in England. I'm just going to tap that excess off, because this ebony powder is really, really dark. So I'm just going to do half contour at the top. And gently what's left onto the brush onto the face what's left on the brush just on to the face and then gently tap again what I've done is I decanted them into these little containers which I got off eBay and then gently dust the side and then what I like to do with my RCMA powder is to go over the whole face just to give it a final set. Now I normally use normally use a little sponge. I've got one little small one here. You can use a brush or puffer sponge, totally depending on what your preference is. I like to rub it across. This is a bit of a messy process, but for me, people who've got oily combination skin, um, it's a really good step and it just stops your makeup from breaking up. All you're doing is just pressing your foundation and you start giving like a final finish. Now if you want, you can leave that to set. You know, say if you wanted to do your hair or something like that. But if you're not looking for that baked in look, um, which will get eradicated anyway after when you use your setting spray. So I'm just going to dust it off. This foundation is really good. It just gives you a nice shimmer, a nice finish, nothing too heavy, especially with the eyes being heavy. Now, I'm going to go in with my highlight first, and for that I'm using the um, new BH Cosmetics, I think it's called Black Light. So, 
I'm going to have a look at that and see what it looks like. This is the palette here. Because it, I'm using cool tones um, with the eyeshadow and stuff, I'm going to go in with a cool tone um, highlighter. I think I'm going to try, start with Illusion first. Now this comes with a mirror, which is really good. Like that. Can you see how that's picking up on camera? It's really nice. So I'm going to continue with Illusion. Now I've got my fan brush here but I think it's too big for what I want to do. I have got a small one but I can't find that at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, my smaller blending brush, one of the ones that I got from eBay. And I'm going to go in with Electra. I'm going to take Lectra just a little bit higher. And blend it in and give it like a, do a swirly motion. Really like the illusion. The illusion is really, really nice. Do you can see that it's just about, you can see that on camera. And now for the lips, going in with my Laval lip pencil. I've spoken about this in my previous videos. I'm trying to use as many cool tones as possible so it just gives the look a nice overall look. Then in with Colourpop, and this is Beeper. It's a nice nude colour, but it does have hints, it has a cool undertone to it. And then I'm going to go back over the liner. It dries really quick is a good thing. Then I'm going to go over the top of it with the Makeup Revolution Clear Lip Gloss and this is called Free. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab it a little bit onto my hand. You see that there. And then I'm just going to gently dab it into the centre of my lips. And work out. Very natural base makeup and very shocking eye makeup. Now you can leave that there or you can go on and you can add um, harsher, bigger lashes depending on what your occasion is. So that concludes the look um, that is a very base natural makeup yes there's a lot of blending involved but it's a very um, simple makeup technique I'm just going to set my face with the um, BH Cosmetics Let's see how that goes so that concludes the makeup look like it's a very neutral makeup on the face and then very strong eyes and um, I hope you like this look, you're very avant-garde, afro-punky, ready for afro-punk and festival season um, or just going out somewhere different and um, hope you like this, re um, this tutorial, please like and subscribe, see you next time, bye!